Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Tornado 3 textile jacket. The Revit Tornado 3 is a textile jacket with substantial amounts of mesh material to get airflow through to your skin. But where a lot of mesh jackets are of no use unless there's a heat wave going on, this jacket has a lot more to offer. There's a removable liner that combines waterproofing and thermal qualities to help you cope with a wider range of temperatures. The bulk of the outer shell is very substantial as it's made from ripstop polyester. Ripstop is a material that has a thicker thread woven through it to stop any small tears turning into big tears. That's replaced at the elbows and the forearms by a material that's even tougher. That's Revit's 750 denier PWR shell fabric. It's a highly abrasion resistant material that suits the use in key impact areas like this. Then there are two forms of mesh material. There's a very open structure type of mesh at the shoulders, at the upper arms and behind the neck. And then the panels on the front and rear of the torso and inside the arms here, they're made from a mesh that's made from abrasion resistant PWR fabric. Revit are brilliant at giving information about which materials are used where on their garments and there's a map on one of the labels that explains what materials are used in exactly every location. The stretch panels above the elbows here are made from 500 denier PWR and then the detail trims like this one are made from Lorica which is an artificial leather. It might seem like a small point but things like that label show Revit really care about what materials are used in their products and that's the kind of stuff that really matters to me. Those panels of mesh here cover a huge amount of the outer, and if I could hold this up to the light, it would show you just how much chance there is for air to get through to the inside. The main fastener on the jacket is a chunky zip, and the collar does up with this clever double-sided press stud. You can adjust the tension around the neck by setting the mounting point to one of five stages on this slider, and then if you want the neck open to create some more room around your throat, it'll pop back and snap onto this point here. The cuffs are also great. They have two Velcro tabs on each cuff and one zip means they can open up wide and swallow very thick gloves on the inside, yet they'll also do it tight enough to wear your gloves over the top if that's what you prefer. Pockets on the outside. There are two at the hips and it's also good to see that the openings are just slightly above the base. That means you've got a better chance of the stuff staying in there if you accidentally ride off with your pockets undone because things sit lower than the zip opening. Fit adjusters at the arms and also at the waist mean that you can take up the slack if you're riding without the liner. So that liner, it's a two-in-one warmth and waterproof liner. The waterproof section of that is Revit's Hydrotex Light Membrane, which combines one layer of waterproof material and it sandwiches it between two lining materials. It's attached to a quilted thermal liner and it's been neatened up so you can use it as a jacket in its own right casually. That could be handy on a tour as it saves packing a jacket in your luggage and it means you don't have to wear an armoured bike jacket out for the night. There's another detail with that liner. Like some other Revit products, there's a connection zip in the liner itself so you can attach it to Revit's riding trousers. That means the liner's less likely to ride up and create a gap for drafts or water to get through while you're riding. Having that waterproof and warmth liner combined into one won't suit everyone. There may well be times that you want protection from the rain but you don't need the thermal liner because it's too warm and that's something to bear in mind when considering buying something like this jacket. Internally, there are two pockets in the main shell which are duplicated in the liner, so you've always got access to two pockets. And the armour in the jacket is impressive stuff. It's Revit's C-Soft armour and it meets the higher level two of the CE standard. It also passes two optional tests that prove it will work in extreme cold or extreme heat, and that's not always the case with every piece of armour. There's no back protector as standard, but there is a pocket for an insert and there are also pockets for chest protector panels. Both of those items are available separately and there are links to both of those in the description for this video. Overall, protection levels for this jacket are to the basic level A within the latest CE standard. That's in common with most textile bike jackets and it shows you can have high breathing kit that still offers a good level of protection. Customer reviews for the Tornado 3 show that owners are on the whole very happy with what they get for their money. This is a £259.99 jacket, so it's not a cheapy, but the quality of construction is very high and it covers a wide range of uses. Unless you're particularly hardy, it's not suited to winter riding and that's something that Revit point out in the literature for this jacket. 
but for someone whose riding covers spring, summer and autumn, then this jacket is a great option. I was impressed in the time I spent in this jacket as there's a lot of flexibility for different conditions. Often a vented summer jacket is a bit of a luxury and it only ever gets use when Britain's in the middle of a heat wave, but this offers a much more practical alternative to that, although it still has that high airflow option when you get those roasting summer days on the occasions that they do crop up. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Tornado 3 textile jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.